Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jayon's back with another video for you guys, and I thank you for joining me once again on this Sunday. You guys freaking rule. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in for the last reaction on Wednesday that was of Traps. Yes, a very controversial band right now called Trap and their song, Living in the Eye of the Storm. And go back to that video if you guys want to go see what I thought of that or if you guys never heard the song before. Go check it out. It's fun. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be bringing you another tier list. And this is another filler kind of video because I didn't get done in time what I wanted to really show you guys. It was a full length cover and there was some video shooting that I troubleshoots. I, I guess you really could, could say that I screwed up on and didn't get done in time. So I just decided to do this instead. And today I'm going to be taking a series of bands from like the 90s, 80s, 70s, it looks even bands from this era. And I'm going to tell you whether they're underrated or overrated or if they're rated just properly. Simple as that, guys. And uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, we're going to get into that tier list. Okay, guys. So as you can see, there's a whole series of bands here. We got like Oasis, Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, Reich, Led Zeppelin, all kinds of different bands from different areas. And different uh, uh decades as well so we're just gonna hop right into it with alice in chains i didn't even know their logo even looked like this do i think they're overrated underrated or about right i honestly i honestly would say do i dare say they are underrated just because i think like lane staley is one of the staples in rock music when it comes to rock vocalists and not a lot of people including myself when you think of rock vocalists and legends he doesn't really get brought up, and dude was an incredible songwriter with an incredible range. Okay, Foo Fighters with David Grohl, of course, Nirvana's drummer. And uh, what do I think of the Foo Fighters? Well, I'm I'm personally a huge fan. I think they're really, really good. But consensus, like, what would they say? Um, I honestly, I would say they're about right. You know, I feel like they're brought up enough. Deep Purple, I would say personally, I mean, I'm not a major fan, like Smoke on the Water. Girl from Tokyo and Highway Stars are absolutely fantastic songs. And I would say those songs are good enough for me to say that they're underrated. You just don't hear about them enough, really, in my opinion. Leonard Skinner. Eh. Um, I mean, they're a very, very, very talented band. I really enjoy them. I think they're about right, if you ask me. Cream. I I I honestly think in the rock and roll community, they're they're about fairly rated. Van Halen, I I do enjoy them quite a bit, but I I really honestly do think they're a bit overrated. Don't get it twisted. I think Eddie Van Halen's a fantastic guitar player. David Lee Roth, fantastic frontman. But I I really just don't really understand why they are as heavily rated as they are. You like these, you know, super 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 amazing talented dudes. Like I I I I don't. Yeah, I don't quite get why. Like, I, I guess I just never really got into Van Halen like that. But I think they're really good. And I think Eddie Van Halen, you know, is a really good guitar player. So don't get twisted, guys. Hate me in the comments for that. Ozzy Osbourne. Now, uh, I'm going to guess this is just his solo stuff that we're going to go off of. Honestly, about right. I don't really hear people really going on and on and on about him. But I hear people talking about him. Led Zeppelin. Uh, I, I honestly, I, th I think they're a little overrated as well. And wh why I think they're a little overrated, I, they're just put on this tier again and this God tier. And they, I think they're very, very good at what they do. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think Jimmy Page is as, quite as good as people say. Yes, yes, he is definitely a talented guitar player. But they put him on up there on this list. Like, you know, he's got ultra technical skill or something. I don't know. I, I, it's it's really hard to say. I, I would actually say they're overrated, but I do like them. Don't get it twisted. Pantera, I'll say about right. Green Day, uh, about right. Yeah, they're okay. Is this Lincoln Park? We're going to go with Lincoln Park. Yeah, I see an LP. They're definitely not underrated, in my opinion. I, I honestly think they're about fairly rated because people don't act like their guitar player, I forget his name. They don't act like he's some super shredder. Chester Bennington, he was absolutely incredible. I, th I think I think they're fairly rated. Yeah, Slipknot. That's a really 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 good one here. Ah, uh, 
I don't I don't think they're I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I think I think honestly if they're they're underrated if anything. I mean, yeah, people love them. They have a massive fan base. They don't seem like a band that really gets accolated enough for what they have accomplished. So they're going to go in underrated for me. A little bias there, I guess, a little bit. ACDC a little overrated if you ask me. I like some of their jams. I really like their Back in Black album, but I just don't really get why they're put on this absolute, absolute god tier. I don't really think that Angus Young's guitar playing is really anything really that godly, honestly, to tell you the truth. Was he good? Or is he good? Yes. But nothing godly, so overrated for me. Nirvana, a lot of people would say they're probably overrated, but I think they're about right. Nobody thinks that Kurt Cobain is like a godly guitar player or like the world's greatest singer, but he could definitely write a damn good jam. That's what most people think, and that's what I think. So I think they're about rightly rated. Megadeth, it's really hard to say this one. I, I would say they're not really overrated at all. Um, Underrated, no. They're about right, in my opinion. I think so. The Beatles, um... I, I think they're about fairly fairly ranked, honestly. Um, their songwriting really, really stands up against the test of time, and I don't hear people really like going on about them too much these days, but I do hear about them and hear good things about them, and I personally think they're really, really good. I think they're about fairly rated. Credence Clearwater Revival. I think they're underrated. Super, super talented band that just doesn't get the attention you know, from the media or anything like that. Little low key, I guess, for a band that's very successful, but don't really hear about them too much. Bowie, about right, I'd say. System of Down, about right, in my opinion. I don't know this band, so I'm not going to do anything with them. Billy Joel, I don't really hear about him that much. I only really know a few of his songs. I like Uptown Girl. That's a good one. About right, I guess. Uh, Motley Crue, ooh, probably a little overrated at this point, and this is probably going to surprise a lot of people because I am a huge Motley Crue fan. But I think one of the reasons they're overrated is because, like Vince Neil, mostly like he just does not put on a fucking good show at all anymore. Doesn't try, or if he is trying, it's it's just he sounds out of breath constantly. Yeah, I know the man's in the sixties. I know he's out of shape, and that's that's what results in it. But I I think at the end of the day, if you're going to be playing in front of thousands and thousands of people, you should be trying your best. Uh, like look at Death Leopard, for instance. You know they're a little older than Motley Crue, most of the members anyway. And look at what the type of show they're putting on these days. And then we have Weezer, probably about right. Uh, Dio, probably about right. You hear his name enough brought up in the metal community and. It's just enough. It's it's not annoying. So yeah, he's about right. Journey, I think I I think they're about right to be honest. Black Sabbath, I honestly feel like they could be brought up more in the rock and roll and metal community. I feel like people just sometimes overlook like their riffs and just their significance in music in general. And then White Snake, underrated. Yeah, I think they're a fantastic band. Uh, I mean, I never got super 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 into them. But David Coverdale is a fantastic singer. They have some absolute 80s metal rock classics, whatever you want to call them, uh, that are that are just instantly recognizable and nobody talks about them. So underrated for me. Guns N' Roses, mm, probably about right for me, to be honest. Avenged Sevenfold, I would say you don't really hear them in the media too much. So we're going to go with about right. One of my favorite bands of all times. They're top three band of mine. Uh, if you follow the channel, you would know that probably by now. Queensryche, a little underrated. Su- uh, kind of like White Snake, the same thing. So I'm not going to go into it too much. That's Bon Jovi, a little overrated just because like Motley Cruz, Vince Neil, uh, his Bon Jovi's voice is just so shot. I mean, yeah, he makes Vince Neil look like a god these days. So. Yeah, we're going to go into overrated with that. Just because of that. I'm a little petty. I know. Jimi Hendrix, I think he's honestly a little overrated. Now, that's no disrespect to the guy. Once again, I thought he was definitely an innovator and he was good at what he did. But I I just don't think 
I just don't think like you know his singing style and his playing style was really that great. But then again, I guess coming from the time period, I guess that was very shocking. Aerosmith, eh, about right. And then you got Sticks. I don't really know, to be honest, so I'm just going to leave them down there. Then we got the Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, they started the band. The Eagles O-line. Yo, that photo they posted in the forest or whatever. <laughs> it did look like a hardcore band's photo. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm sure they're uh, referring to Hotel California. About right, in my opinion. Iron Maiden is about right, in my opinion. I think they get the right amount of attention for the type of band they are. Subtitle Pilots. I think they're underrated. I think they're one of the big four when it comes to grunge. Usually people would say Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Alice in Chains. But honestly, I would put Stone Temple Pilots ahead of Pearl Jam. No disrespect to Pearl Jam. They're a really good band. But Stone Temple Pilots, I think they wrote so many freaking great hits that nobody freaking talks about. Queen. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, wow, this could vary. I mean, I, I think I think Freddie Mercury, he was on that God status. So um, I think they get a lot of praise for how talented they were. So Queen gets about right for me. Um, and then Rage Against the Machine, about right, I would say, in my opinion. Pink Floyd, eh, I think they're a little overrated for a lot of the same reasons as like ACDC or Zeppelin. Metallica, honestly, about right, to be honest. Uh, Oasis, about right. Yeah, I don't think they're an absolutely incredible band, but I think they're good at what they do. There's a few songs I really can get into. And I think they get the right amount of praise, in my opinion. I don't know what that last band is with the freaking wings are. So, yeah, you you guys tell me what that band is. So, guys, so tell me what you guys think of my list. I could be completely wrong to you guys. Tell me if you agree. Of course, you're allowed to disagree. You're allowed to agree. It doesn't matter. Let me know down in the comment section, guys. And uh, give me some suggestions for some covers. As I said, I'm going to be trying to do more on the channel. And I need your suggestions, guys. It really, really helps the channel out a lot. Of course, subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell. It helps the channel out a lot, guys. I really appreciate it if you do that. It takes a lot of time to make these videos. So, all right, guys. On the next one, I will see you Reaction Wednesday, 3 p.m. East Coast time.